Today I am doing a Light Academia style video. I'm going to be putting together a bunch of different outfits and no these outfits aren't going to be specific just to summer and spring. It's kind of some of the outfits might be a little warmer I'd say but I really wanted to make a Light Academia video so here we are. I really need to invest in some Light Academia shoes. I really want to get some loafers and Mary Janes that are in a cream color. That way it just goes with more of the Light Academia aesthetic. So you're probably going to be seeing me wear brown combat boots with almost every outfit because it's all I really have. And if you like some of these pieces, I will try to list anything similar that I found on the internet below. Feel free to check out the description box for any links to the items. And I guess that's it, let's get started. Before we move into the outfits, I wanna show you a little bit of Light Academia Pinterest inspiration. The way that I like to think of Light Academia is a mixture of dark academia and cottage core, or even romantic academia. And the reason I do this is because it just gives me a clearer idea of the types of outfits I can create if I think, okay, cottage core, and dark academia. Let's mix those two things together. What does it look like? The color palette consists mostly of lighter colors, beige, tans, whites, creams, browns. Another cool thing I like about this aesthetic is that you can wear all of your dresses. You can wear puff sleeved dresses, dresses that are, you know, the baby doll style, flowy dresses. There's so many different options and it still works. Now that I have talked more about this aesthetic, let's move into some of the outfits that I created based off this inspiration. So I'm using all of my lighter clothing items in these outfits and I don't have that many so you're gonna see me style this button-up shirt in a couple different ways and don't think that you need to have a lot of different pieces of clothing to make multiple outfits. For this look I have a tan sweater vest on top of my beige long sleeve linen shirt. The linen shirt was my dad's and he gave it to me. And the sweater vest is from Walmart. I actually got it for $12 and they had it in multiple different colors, but it is the best material. And I wish that I found other ones in my size because I love this one so much. I think it's totally acceptable to wear a shirt as a dress if it's large enough. And I think it makes this look a little more edgy. It kind of gives me DA feels, but keeping it light. Keeping on my linen shirt, I put on my only pair of khaki shorts I currently own. These are the paper bag style, which I'm not the biggest fan of because of the waist, but I tried to hide it a bit with this shirt being oversized. These shorts are also from H&M, but I wouldn't recommend them because they are a little too high for my liking. To switch out this look a little bit, I added a belt to kind of go with my boots and added a brown purse. Now moving on to the next look and I'm keeping on everything I am currently wearing except now I'm changing out the belt to a lighter color, adding some glasses and putting on this knitted top. This knitted top is from Forever 21. I love the color of it and how nice it looks. Again, these are very more laid back, light academia looks. There's no right or wrong way to do it, but I could still see myself going into a library wearing this outfit. Now going for a more librarian vibe instead of a student, I threw on my Edwardian top that I got from a clothing swap. You can find these within the group section on Facebook. And the skirt I thrifted from a store called Deseret. It's kind of like a Goodwill and I sewed it to fit me properly in the waist because it was too big, but it's a very nice material. It has shorts and pockets. I still have a bow in the back of my hair and I have on my Lorado boots that I also thrifted. Keeping on the skirt, I just added this other top that I got. Uh, this was actually given to me, again, from another designer. And it was cut. I don't know why. I think it's from a wedding dress, but I still love this top so much that I don't care if my stomach is showing. I wish it was a longer of a top, but what can you do? And to make it a little, you know, light academia, a little more academic, I put on a beret. 
For the next look, I am wearing a shirt that I thrifted. I think this was a part of a two-piece set for those, you know, older prom dresses, but it's a great way to get a really pretty top. For the bottom, I'm just wearing a maxi skirt that I cut and sewed to have some drapes. I feel like it makes it look very romantic and unique, and I think this pairs really well together. Moving on to a more simple but formal look, I put on this dress that has this beautiful pearl detail on the front and the back of it. This dress is from Wild Fox, but it's very old, so I don't think you'll be able to find it. I paired the dress with some black ballet flats from H&M for $5 and some simple white ruffle socks. Keeping on the same shoes and throwing back on that tan beret. By the way, the tan beret is from Amazon. I'll link it below. And these pants are actually from Amazon too. And the top is thrifted. I would tell you the name, but there's no tag on it. I really like this look. It's actually not too hot. These pants are very thin and flowy, and so is the top. So I feel like it's actually a pretty good summer look. Like I could wear this when it's 80 out and be fine. Uh, but you know, if it gets a little hotter than 80, I'll probably be throwing on shorts. Keeping on the pants and changing out the top, I put on another white blouse that I have thrifted and my white messenger boy hat. It's actually more of a beige color. I got this from Amazon recently and it goes with so many outfits. I love it so much. I'll link it below. And I love this top because there's no collar to it. It reminds me of a pirate type top and I think it's just a nice mix up compared to all the other blouses that I own. As I mentioned in the beginning of this video, white dresses are perfect for this aesthetic. I think the one way to make it feel a little more academic is to add a bow in the back of your hair. In a perfect world, you can imagine me having on white Mary Janes with ruffle socks or white loafers. Unfortunately, this is the only light shoe I have in my closet at the moment, so that's why I have them on paired with the white socks to kind of bring the white together and make it make more sense. And I totally forgot to mention, this shirt is thrifted. It is an oversized shirt that I happened to luck out on and it fit me almost like a dress. So yeah, don't forget, you can always look in areas that are not your size and adjust them to fit you accordingly. And last but not least, we've got a more schoolgirl look. I put back on that beret and I put back on my tan sweater vest from Walmart and then I added my gray pleated skirt. The gray pleated skirt was from a store called Whimsic Alley in LA, but they are no longer open. So you can find these anywhere. I will link one below for you. I also decided to switch up my shoe to my tan Chelsea boots. I got these from H&M years ago for $5. And although they aren't my favorite shoe, they do work with some looks and this is one of them. And I totally forgot to mention that the Shakespeare and Company tote bag is from Amazon. And I would highly recommend getting a bag like this over a purse because it goes with every aesthetic. All right, that's it. Thanks so much for watching and hanging out with me. I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day and I'll see you all in the next one.